Today I'd like to talk about glioblastomas. What is a glioblastoma? Well, to put it in perspective, about 18,000 new primary brain tumors are diagnosed in the United States every year. About half of those are glial tumors. These are tumors that arise from star-shaped cells in the brain and spinal cord called astrocytes. About half of those are glioblastomas. All glial-based nerve tumors, so all tumors from the brain and spinal cord that come from these types of cells are malignant, but they're graded in terms of low to high grade malignancy on a scale of one to four. One being the least invasive or least aggressive and four being the most invasive, the most threatening, the most aggressive. Glioblastoma is a grade four tumor. Now, how do they present? Well, they can present with any of the signs associated with pressure or occasionally sudden hemorrhage within the brain. So signs of pressure would be things like headache, sometimes visual loss or blurring, weakness on one side or the other of the arms or legs. Uh, sometimes it'll be something that happens much more suddenly, such as a seizure or even a loss of consciousness. These are all reasons to see a doctor. And how are they diagnosed and treated? Well, luckily, they show up very well on non-invasive imaging studies. So typically, the, the fastest test in the event of emergency, like a seizure, would be a CAT scan. But usually, in order to see more details, an MRI with and then without the intravenous injection of contrast is done. That's how they're diagnosed. And then uh, we're still not certain when we see an MRI, even though it may be very characteristic of these kind of very problematic tumors. We're still not sure until a biopsy or tumor resection or tumor removal has been done. So that's the treatment phase. These operations are always done by neurosurgeons and they are usually done in such a way as to try to remove as much of the tumor as possible. Now, what is the prognosis for patients with a glioblastoma? Well, unfortunately, um, these are one of the most dreaded of all of the malignant tumors. Currently, uh, the one-year survival for a tumor, a glioblastoma in the brain, is about 13%, and two-year survival is about 2%. So it's very worrisome. However, there is some good news amidst all of this bad. The methods for treating tumors are getting much better. We are having some cases of earlier diagnosis, surgery with uh, the technology we have available using microscopes, lasers, minimally invasive techniques. We can do surgery in a safer way in many cases. Uh, there's things like intraoperative MRIs, there's intraoperative placement of chemotherapeutic agents that can make a difference. Usually after surgery, when as much of the tumor as can safely be removed has been removed, radiation therapy is performed. Some of the novel therapies include a boost of radiation therapy, something called radiosurgery that may be helpful, and then finally chemotherapy. Now, all of the best treatments combined over the last three decades have only increased survival by about three months, but there's still some really optimistic things coming down the road. There are new chemotherapies using immunotherapy or developing the body's own immune system. There are new vaccines that have been used and some of the vaccines have increased the survival rates by as long as 10 months, which is 300% of what we've done with any of our other techniques. So I think as, as discouraging and as you know, truly worrisome as this diagnosis is, I think we're right on the cusp of being able to make a real difference. We need or a little more time, we need a lot more work, we need more money to work on it, but, but we're getting there. So the bottom line is it's, it's a very dangerous disease, there's treatment that is available and that um, a neurosurgeon is needed to be your partner every step of the way. Great, thank you so much. Thank you.